Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Former President Donald Trump's mommy issues were on full display in his Monday night interview with Elon Musk, an ex-FBI agent has claimed. At one point in the rambling discussion, the Republican presidential nominee, 78, was discussing a Time magazine cover story about his opponent, Vice President Kamala Harris, when he weirdly compared the Democrat to his wife, Melania. He accused Harris, 59, of getting a free ride from the press as she continues to forego media interviews when he offhandedly remarked that Harris bears a resemblance to his wife. But I saw a picture of her on Time magazine today. She looks like the most beautiful actress ever to live, Trump said. It was a drawing. And actually, she looked very much like a great first lady, Melania. He went on to mispronounce the vice president's name, repeatedly referring to her as Camilla. She didn't look like Camilla, Trump said. That's right. But of course, she's a beautiful woman. So we'll leave it at that. Americans across the country watched the exchange happen live and many said on social media they found Trump's comments about the vice president off-putting. Former FBI agent Asha Rangappa, however, did not seem surprised by the former president's remarks. I knew it. His brain is short-circuiting because she is attractive and formidable, she posted on X. LOL he is toast. She said the former president recognizes and is slightly scared of and in a weird way, craves the approval of strong intelligent women, saying there are some mommy issues going on there. Rangappa also claimed that Trump equates attractive women with being dumb or weak so he can sexualize and exploit and dismiss. Trump has been accused of having mommy issues in the past, with former President Barack Obama saying at his second annual Obama Foundation Summit in 2018 that progress is hindered in the U.S. because we are still confused, blind, shrouded with hate, anger, racism, and mommy issues. Many in attendance and in the media took that as a swipe at then-President Trump as it came just a few months after Politico magazine published an article entitled Donald Trump's Mommy Issues. In the article, author Peter Lovenheim argues that his apparent failure to bond with his mother may have played a role in Trump's personal and professional life. He notes that Trump's mother, Marion Trump, sustained a life-threatening illness when the former president was just a toddler. With his mother incapacitated with the illness and his father, Frederick Trump, never home as he focused on building his real estate empire, Lovenheim posits that Trump never successfully bonded with a primary caregiver as a child. He said such an issue can result in two common psychological issues, either an individual develops attachment anxiety, leading them as adults to crave intimacy, but having difficulty seeking reassurance or they have attachment avoidance, whereas adults, they generally distrust others and convince themselves they don't need close relationships. Lovenheim argued at the time that Trump was displaying signs of having attachment avoidance, pointing to what he described as the former president's sense of self-reliance and inability to acknowledge self-doubt. His boasting of sexual encounters and the fact that he has had multiple marriages and very few close friends. The author also cited Trump's many flattering comments over the years about his mother, calling her fantastic, tremendous, very warm and very loving, but providing a lack of early childhood memories to support those sentiments.